Sammy, and I'm here today to teach you about the rules of the school bus. This is me back in 1997 when I was part of the very first Safety 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 bus video. A lot of things have changed since then, but the rules are still the same. Safety never goes out of style. Let me show you. James is going to be my helper today as I show you all the rules of the school bus. Getting ready for school. Make sure you wear the right clothes depending on what the weather is. Snow, rain, or sunshine. Have everything you need to take to school in your backpack so you don't have to rush around looking for things at the last minute before you leave the house. Tuck away or put inside any backpack drawstrings or scarves that may get caught on the handrail or door when you get on the bus. Remember to have your bus pass. You need to show it to the bus driver each time you get on the bus. Leave yourself enough time so that you're arriving at your designated bus stop five minutes before the scheduled time. Mom! Going to the bus stop. Walk on the sidewalk for your safety. Remember to be at the designated bus stop at least five minutes before the school bus is scheduled to arrive. If you have to cross the street on your way to your designated stop, be sure to cross at a corner or crosswalk. Use the safety rules that pedestrians use, point, pause, and proceed. When you get to the crosswalk, stop and point your arm across the intersection. Pause and wait for all the traffic to stop. Once you have made eye contact with all the drivers, proceed across the crosswalk. Waiting at the bus stop. Line up in single file to wait for the bus. No pushing or shoving when you're in line, and do not play on other people's lawns or front steps. Wait until the bus comes to a complete stop and the bus driver opens the door before you step toward the bus. Be sure to check for the route number before you get on the bus. If you're unsure, ask the bus driver. To get on the bus, you have to go through the danger zone. What is the danger zone? The area directly around a school bus, even when it is parked, is called the danger zone. It is called the danger zone because bus drivers have a hard time seeing little people or objects that are very close to the bus. This might seem surprising because you might think that when you see the bus, the bus driver can see you, but that is not always true. Hold on to the handrail every time you board the bus. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> morning. Be sure to show your bus pass to the driver. Thank you. And then go straight to your seat and sit down, because if you stop to talk or stand blocking the aisle, some of the children behind you will get left in the danger zone. Riding the school bus. The correct way to sit on the bus is to sit straight on your seat. Keep your feet on the floor, put your backpack on your lap, and face the front of the bus. Look for the emergency exits and know how to use them. If the bus driver tells you to go out the emergency exits, go quickly and quietly and in single file. When you are talking to your seat partner on the bus, use your inside voice. No shouting or yelling. Show consideration for the comfort and safety of others. The driver should be able to hear the dispatch radio and the outside traffic. 
They should not be distracted while driving. The bus driver is in full charge of the bus. They have one very important responsibility, your safety. You should not eat anything or drink anything on the bus. Do not stick your hands out the window and do not throw anything out the window. Getting off the school bus. Stay in your seat until the bus has stopped moving and the doors are open. Leave the bus in single file, starting with the children at the front, and don't push or shove. Remember to use the handrail and watch out for that big step. When you get off the bus, you have to walk through the danger zone again, so as soon as you step off, take five giant steps away from the bus. If you drop something and it rolls inside the danger zone or under the bus, don't ever go back for it. Ask the bus driver or another adult to get it for you. Go straight into your supervised area or school and have an awesome day. Going home from school. Right after school, quickly gather your things. Then follow the school rules that your school has for the students taking the bus. If you miss your bus, go in back inside the school and ask an adult what you should do. Look how all the children are walking safely to their bus. We have many students at Edmonton Catholic Schools who use the yellow school bus. Here's one of our schools where there are nine yellow school buses. It's a lot of buses. See the bus supervisors who are there to help students. They are the ones in the bright orange vest. Getting off the school bus at the end of the day. Do not get off the bus until you are very sure that you are at the right stop. Never be afraid to ask your bus driver to help you get off the bus at the right stop if you aren't sure. Wait until the school bus comes to a complete stop before you leave your seat. Use the handrail when you're getting off the bus. When you get off the bus, you're in the danger zone, so make sure you take five giant steps away from it. Stay in the safe zone until the bus has left or pulled away from the stop. Never cross the street in front of the bus. If you have to cross the street on your way home, be sure to cross at a corner or a crosswalk. Never cross the street in the middle of a block. Thank you, James, for helping me today with this video. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Remember, always follow the rules of the school bus and be safe.